Welcome to Lavalogy University's course on kissing. In this course, we're going to cover everything from the definition and meaning of kissing to some facts, some history, early memories of it and slang, what can be kissed and how to kiss it, maybe some fears as well as some kissing exercises, kissing concerns, pros and cons, as well as safety and hygiene. And we'll finish with some kissing suggestions for oral sex. If you're aggressive or dominant, you like to have the power when kissing. You're a go-getter, make-it-happen kind of kisser. By taking charge, you're trying to show that you're in control of what happens next. If you're gentle or submissive, your style shows that you would rather be whisked away and relinquished of all control. Your baby kisses can keep you on the bottom, or you can be the receiver rather than the giver. A soft, sincere, but seductive kind of kiss. If you're a wet kisser, moist, hot, and steamy, you like to keep things running smoothly but with momentum. Lots of licking and lubrication are your way of preventing any interruptions or distractions. If you're a teaser, then you're the player type. Your lip tickling kisses build anticipation and keep others on their toes. This type of kiss never promises anything more than a good time. Your ability to remain unpredictable also keeps you from committing. If you're a biter, you like a bit, or shall we say bite, of pain mixed in with your pleasure. Quick nibbles on the lips show that you like to get a rise out of other people with surprises and excitement. An innocent kisser is no tongue and very little saliva exchange. It shows you're more reserved and disciplined. Innocent kisses are your way of letting someone know where you stand in terms of what and who you want. On the toes, kissing can be brief or very extensive, if you're the toe licking and kissing type, ranging from tiny kisses to long sexual licks and sucks. The toes are a playground of options. Make sure that you give equal attention to each and every toe. On the calves, combine light kisses with a firm massage, using your hands along the calves. On the ankles, these kisses work nicely when you're taking off your partner's shoes and offering a foot massage. No tongue is necessary. Pucker up for firm kisses on the knees, all around the kneecap. This is one place where a little nibbling is often welcome. We tend to get into routines about where we kiss. Maybe it's only once a day when you say hello or goodbye to your lover. But kissing is one of the best ways to rekindle love. So think about some places you can sneak a kiss and surprise your lover. Here's a few suggestions. In the bath or the closet, on the stairs, doing dishes at dinner, in the car at a traffic light, during your lunch break, during an argument when they least expect it. And there's lots of other suggestions. Think about a surprise place that you can kiss your lover today.